this video, we're going to show you how the basics of Google's page ranking algorithm works, which is basically the key idea that made them the multi-billion dollar company they are. So let's suppose we have a small network with four websites, or four websites, W, X, Y, and Z. And then we have hyperlinks, for instance, Z links to all three of the other nodes, uh, sites. Z links to W, Y, and X. Y only links to Z, etc. So you might think the way to rank the importance of these pages, which is what page, uh, what uh, what pages is, which is what page rank purports to do, it's much more complicated than what we're doing. But this was the basic idea. Okay, you'd look at how many arcs point into each node. Well, Y's got three hyperlinks pointing in, so it looks like Y is the most important. But you also got to look at sort of what goes out. So for instance. Everybody who clicks on Y, the next thing they're going to do is click on Z because that's the only node pointing out of Y. So the idea is what's called a random surfer. So at each node, like if you have a random surfer at Z, a third of the time, they would go to each of the other nodes. And so basically you can iterate then to find out the importance of each of the nodes. You start out giving each node equal weight. So W, X, Y, and Z given a weight of 100 or just make them add up to 1. So we're going too far. So then the next iteration, and this is where Excel comes in, what would be the weight of W? W would get a third of Z. Why is that? Because that's the only thing that's pointing in there. So basically for W, the formula would be one third of Z from the previous iteration. See, that's one third of Z from the previous iteration. We could just copy these down. Now what's X going to get? So X gets half of... X is going to get half of W because W has two nodes out because someone at W would sort of flip a coin between going to X and to Y. Okay, so X gets half of W plus a third of Z because Z you would flip a coin, a three-headed, or just a random number generator gives a one-third chance of each outcome. So you would take basically half of W and you would take a third of Z. Now, what's going to happen for Y? Y gets half of W, half of X, and a third of Z. Now, what that's going to look like, see, that's getting D, that's half of W, that's half of Y. Sorry, half, uh, half of X, sorry, and plus a third of Z. Now, finally, what Z is going to get going to get y plus half of x. So y would be from column f, and then we get half of column e. And see, that's what we get. So now you're just going to copy these formulas down, which I did. Or if you just select them, and I went down, let's see how many iterations. You'll see a convergence. There's So basically, if you look right here, when you get to the 23rd iteration, you go to the 24th, basically, it doesn't change. And so basically, the most important one is going to be Z. It gets 154 out of 400. X gets 51. So you take the percentage of the total. Z would get 154 out of 400 or 38% of the weight. Y would get 116 out of 400, 29% of the weight, et cetera. So Z is the most important. Okay, again, it's not Y, which has pointing, nodes pointing into there. So you have to look at sort of the structure and how people click into a node and then where do they go next and then there are modifications of this but basically if you think about the whole web google had to build the web crawler to get the basically the structure of these links involving the search term and then basically they had to solve equation solve this what we're doing here with probably hundreds of millions maybe now billions of variables to solve for in effect in effect you can solve a system of equations rather than do this cumbersome process here. Uh, and maybe we'll show that in a later video. But that's the basis for Google PageRank. You sort of map the connections between the websites involved with the search term, and then you can figure out what are the most important sites. And this was part of a PhD thesis attempt by Larry and Sergey at Stanford, and that's the basis of Google. And we all certainly know this Google's been a fantastically useful company to everybody in the world. 
Okay, so thanks for watching, and, and there's a free course, a free 21-day course from Dr. Winston, um, and all of these videos are coming from one of three books. So first, this one, which you can see here at the top of the screen, um, Microsoft's book, which has 355 reviews, uh, and then it's, let's see, 4.6 stars. Um, it's coming from this book as well, his marketing analytics book, which is down here, and you can sort of see 4.5, or his newest book, his analytics stories book, which is here. And with that one, you can see it's four point something, or maybe even five. I don't think it's five. Yeah, 4.8. And so, yeah, anyways, in the description, there's a free 21-day course from Dr. Winston. Um, or you can go to excelwithwayne.com slash free, and it'll be there. But again, thanks for watching. And if you have any questions, just uh, please let us know. Thanks.